Hello, my friends. This is uh, Brian, the speaker here. Just uh, wanted to do a quick video. Um, it's going to be short um, because I really just have um, it's really something simple to say. <sighs> Who cares if Kathleen Kennedy stays at Lucas uh, Lucasfilm? Who cares? Why are you people still talking about this? You know, I, I still watch Doomcox rumor videos because he's kind of entertaining, but I never take it seriously. Um, I, everybody else is like, he was wrong. He was stupid. She's still the, who cares? Who cares? She's there. She's not there. I mean, yeah, I'd love to see her gone too, but seriously, who cares? Kathleen Kennedy is just one of the little teeny tiny pimples on the butt that is Hollywood. Um, seriously, you, you, I mean, she, she is an insignificant part of the, the just absolute pus sack that is Hollywood. You could pop her and you still got thousands, millions. I mean, just it's just one giant cesspool of pus. It, it's going to take a lot more than getting rid of Kathleen Kennedy and firing her because her influence is still going to be there. It, it, I mean, and if she's not the one influencing, it's going to be some other, you know, snake oil salesman, some other, some other worthless woke douchebag spinning the same kind of ideas with just a different face attached to it. It's like Washington, D.C. You can get rid of a couple of the bad apples, but it's such a cesspool of of taint and contamination at this point. Like you, You'd have to flush most of them down the toilet, okay? It's just one big sewer, and we just need to flush all the rats out. And the Hollywood's the same way. So corrupt... So disgusting, so decadent, so full of their own shit that it's really just redundant at this point to keep making these videos of, oh, she's, is she in? Is she out? Is, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I wish it did. I, I, I oh, I wish it did. I mean, that would be great, right? To, I mean, to feel like we we got a victory, that we won something, that they got it, that they get it. But they don't. Because they don't care. They just don't care. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. They care about the perception. They care about each other. They care about... I mean, that's, they're, they're all in a big room smelling each other's farts. That, that's the only crowd they care about is, is who's in the room with them. They could care less... About us in the us, us in the theater, or you know, politicians. They don't they don't care about where you live. They don't care what's happening to you and your whole household. They just care about the other people that are in the cocktail party with them. That's the only group they're playing to. I mean, how is it that we don't get this? George Carlin. I used to think George Carlin was way too cynical about politicians. <laughs> no, he was dead right, dead right about the whole situation. It's all, a, a, it's just all a scam now. Didn't used to be. At one time it was, it was a good thing, but it's not now. It's so corrupt. It's so decadent. It's so disgusting that you'd have to completely flush it and start over to fix the problem. You can't drain the swamp. You've, you've got to like, you, you've got to drain, plow, uh, fill in. I mean, there's a whole crap ton of work that you would have to do to fix the problems that, that we have right now. Um, so, I mean, it's just like, it, it's like Kathleen Kennedy, even if she was gone, I mean, like I said, you, you pumped one pimple on the, on, on like just a giant boil. I mean, you, you didn't, I mean, you didn't even drain any, I mean, you didn't, you didn't affect anything. So that's just my two seconds worth, my four minutes worth. Um, you know, Lord bless you guys for trying to be out there talking about what's going on and stuff. But seriously, if I have to see one more video about Kathleen Kennedy, I'm, I'm going to puke because I just, I can't, I can't take it anymore. Who cares? Who cares? She's worthless. Don't worry about her. 
Let's worry about the whole picture. Like you guys are all focused in on one, one insignificant pimple. Let's, let, I mean, just, I mean, we just need to scrub them all. I mean, we just need, we need to bring in dermatologists and just scrub it. And it's, it's I mean, disinfect. And I mean, that's the only way we're going to fix it. Says the truck driver sitting alone in his sleeper. That's my, that's my view on it. Um, but it's true. It's true. If I can figure that out, yeah, smarter people should, should be able to figure this out. I mean, look at the Eternals. <laughs> it's not just Kathleen Kennedy, guys. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's in everything. Uh, we, I mean, it's going to take a major cleansing at this point to, to, to get rid of the plague that is affecting us. Um, and I, I don't see that happening. So um, hopefully, but I mean, just, just I mean, the, the, the best way to choke out a virus is to stop feeding it. Stop feeding it. Stop giving it attention. Stop giving it money. Stop get, I mean, if you, if you want to, you know, to, to get rid of a problem, to solve an issue, you have to treat it with, with, I mean, you know, it's like a cancer. We, we need to radio. I mean, we need radio, we need radiation and chemotherapy at this point. We, we need to, to, to come up with a treatment that is so horrible that, that it, but, that it kills, uh, it dang near comes near to killing the, the host, but just, just barely, you know, can, but kills the, the plague, the problem, the cancer, but leaves the host barely alive so that they can, I mean, come, I mean, that's what, that's what chemotherapy and radiation is. It, it's, it's poison that hopefully will kill off the bad cells before it kills off the good cells. That, that's, that's the kind of treatment Hollywood and politicians need. I mean, we, we need to poison the organism so badly that only the good cells are going to survive. And, and we, we hope that they're going to survive. But even if they don't, the few of the good cells that were left, if we have to lose those to get rid of the disease, I'm, um, I'm, I'm okay with that. Acceptable losses. Acceptable losses. Anyway. Thanks for watching my crazy rant video. Bye now.